Hi everyone, so I'm here to do a Alistair room tour. Um, this is basically an updated one. I'll leave a link to his previous room tour. Um, not a massive amount has changed, probably organisational it has changed. And obviously he's growing up so he is a more of a like a, a big boy room and he can grow with this room probably into his teens just by tweaking a few things. Um, so yeah, a lot of things are the same and a lot of things have changed like I said. Um, so rugs and duvet covers and stuff are pretty much still the same, they're only like a year old or a year and a half old. Um, they're from Next, they do actually have a different version, it's still with stripy and Next but I think there's more of a dark, like more of a navy blue to black I think instead of the white, slightly more darker. Um, but yeah, I'll show you an overview quick and then I'll go into detail. Um, you could say his room is quite boyish but I've kind of themed it on seaside sort of not too much um you can see snippets of like seasidey bits um but yeah so his wardrobes and his chest of drawers are from ikea and they are really really old um yeah they're quite cheap but they are really old now <laughs> we've had them a very long time um chest of drawers very deep um I, i'm not sure if they still have them the same they they changed them i think maybe last year or this year i think maybe they might have white panels now i'm not sure um but yeah so i'll show you inside his drawers nothing that exciting just his underwear and pajamas in there and then in this one he has tops long sleeve tops and short sleeve tops and then he has his trousers and shorts shorts and trousers this side so that's pretty much how it organizes his clothing mainly um and he can get in and out of here as well which makes it easy for him up here we have um, a few boxes which are from Hobbycraft, these are full of craft stuff, so I've labelled things like paints and paintbrushes, pens and pencils, stickers, aprons, sponges, glues, it's kind of a hodgepodge of all craft stuff really, um, with some like workbooks at the top. And then these little crates, I got two of those from Matalan recently, I've put one in here and one's actually in the lounge, a smaller one. Um, he has little MDF um, A for Alistair. And then obviously Lego Star Wars stuff. So yeah, and here is a picture. Um, the actual frame itself is from Matalan. It was five pounds and I just framed it myself. I found this quote, which I really, really liked. It's kind of like a boy's quote. Um, it says, make mud pies, build a fort, have an adventure, get dirty, run and jump, splash in puddles, sing loudly, reach for the skies, love fiercely. And I basically, all I did was went on to Pick Monkey and wrote it out myself and printed it out and put it inside the frame and that's pretty much that. I'd done it in the colours that would work well with this room and yeah, again that can be changed whenever, like whenever he wants. But I just thought that was so, such a nice quote um, and it's great, it's a nice place there as well. So that's kind of that corner. A few hodgepodge of teddies, these are like kind of sentimental ones. I would happily get rid of them because I hate soft toys to be honest, they just gather dust pretty much. Um, but he obviously loves them so I'm keeping those obviously. Um, some paper, more craft stuff, there's like tons of craft stuff up there, plasticine and you know that sort of thing. Um, some canvases and then in his drawers, this, this might not be that tidy, oh it's not too bad. Okay, so we have school uniform at the top, his helmet, winter, like um, balaclavas and uh, gloves and scarves in there. Some extra games, well, game boxes for his DS. This is an old like toy that he's had since he was a baby. And then we have a lot of dressing up stuff and then we've got a hodgepodge of like stuff here. Some of the stuff he hasn't worn, it's got tags on and it just had hangers on it. So I just put it in there. A couple of these things. He hasn't worn that yet, <laughs> that was from last year. And then these are just like jackets and hoodies and things that we pull out for over winter and whenever really, evenings. And at the bottom we have a whole load of games that they pull out, put it in the big box just so they can just literally pull it out and bring it into the lounge. But yeah, we have a lot of really fun games, even games that I loved from my childhood um, in there. Okay, on this wall we have a couple, obviously I put stripes on, we did that I think last year or the year before, I can't remember. But I got this um, little bunting, which is like a wooden plaque bunting. Um, it's from the range, it was only 4 dollars it says like Life's Beach and it's, 
I thought it was a, like a bun thing, but it wasn't babyish or girlyish. I thought it looked quite nice and it was like the perfect place for it really. And then this side, I um, got this, um, I don't know, frame thing from, it's kind of open, it has no glass in it. And it had, literally just had these and I just put the Instagram photos in. This is from Matalan. I think this was £7 or £8, so, so cheap. But it's quite nice and I really like it. So that's that. And then storage wise, we're using the Kallax, I'll link it below, storage unit. It is an actual upright unit, but because he has such a large space, I thought it would do better that way. So we placed it that way. And then I bought these extra things from Ikea. Came with it, this all came with it. You just have to buy it separately. As you can see, he's obsessed with Lego. His Lego Technics in this stuff, which is like the buildable mechanic stuff. And then we have loads of Lego um, in each one. And we have a couple of things in there. We have a lot of like maths work stuff at the moment. He's getting really into maths and his giant calculator. This robot thing, uh, Playmobil Castle, and then we have one of these old school football games. Okay, so this side, you see his bed. Um, the throw is from TK Maxx. He's got a couple of games. It's like, like a marble round game under there. Um, the bedding again is from ne uh, Next. There's like a it's like a double set, comes in a pack of two and it's all kind of reversible. And I've got the fitted sheets and everything, it's all stripy and really nice. Um, cushion is from Asda in the sale, um, just playing curtains, the bunting thing lights up at night. Um, and that's from b and I'm sure it was an outdoor sort of bunting but I really like it inside. And then on this side we have storage baskets which are from TK Maxx, they're quite um, nautical I suppose. One has uh, dressing up stuff which is this one. They're, both of them are obsessed with dressing up so we just keep it all. Um, his DS is down there. He's got some toys in here, big dump truck and then this little unit is from Argos. It's actually quite cheap but I changed the doorknobs. I thought it just made it look slightly more um, expensive just by changing the doorknobs because the doorknobs previously were literally horrible little plastic things um, so I got those from eBay and they're kind of like rope knots like a sailor knots um, yeah and I don't know if I want to show you inside yeah well Alistair feels whatever he wants it is his room so he feels whatever he wants in his drawers um, the little star is from Primark, that's kind of like his nightlight, which is quite nice. It's, an, it's not too bright and it's only battery operated. It's got his little plant here and this is just like a show object, I suppose. That was from home base in the sale, I think it was like three or four pounds. And then this little art print was when Alistair was age four. He actually wanted that there and there was a hook thing, so we just put it there. It kind of goes quite nicely. Um, we have these binoculars which are also from Asda. They were in the sale for £2. It's just a sort of an ornament. Um, this plant and a few money boxes. And then on this wall we have one of the IKEA storage units which is like a, it's in the kids section. I'll link it below. We've had that since Alistair was like baby, about a year old. It's lasted so well. Um, he's got some photo albums on the top and a sentimental um, reindeer. This is from Matalan. It's actually in the bathroom section, but I think it goes really nice in this room. He really likes it. And then he's got his bookshelves and his um, book shelf thing here as well. This one is from Argos and these two shelves are from Homebase. They're kind of like picture rails, but they hold books really nicely. Um, the bottom, he has his mini guitar, his money jar thingy that's from the range and he loves tipping out his money and counting it and then putting it back in and he's obviously on a quest to fill it up uh, a lot of those books are all lego and star wars books he reads them quite often he's got a couple of books that he's currently going through at the moment um is a laundry basket and yeah this is his door. We, I've let them decorate their doors because, to be honest, we, that is a, 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 like a list of things to do that we want to change in the house is all the doors. We just haven't got around to doing it. Hopefully next year we'll change them all to white doors. So we don't really mind if they've covered them in stickers. I'm not really that bothered because they're going. Um, 
his door hooks and he's got his coats and his dressing gown and that is pretty much his room. So light shade is just plain blue and it's from b and I can't remember where the curtain's from. I have a feeling they might be from Argos. But they're quite thin, but it doesn't matter. He likes quite a lot of light. Um, did I say the throw is from TK Maxx? That's really, oh my God, this is gorgeous. It feels so soft. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much his room. Give you an overview. I think it's a really nice boy's room. It's not babyish. It's not so um, plain. It's still quite colourful. And he, he really likes it. And it's just the way we've set it up. And then over here. And that is pretty much that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have. And hopefully you'll see Violet's room next.